But you do a lot of group stuff. At least that's what you post on videos. Yeah, a lot of group training, yeah. And you got men and women together. Like, how do you approach that? Not even specifically just the men and women difference. Like, how is that working in a group? Because you've got people who are boxers, who have fought professionally, working alongside a guy who's, you know, 30 pounds ahead of me. But just <laughs> so you got one guy's yeah. trimming weight. And you've got guys who are, you know, essentially world-class athletes. You know, like, how do you do that in a group? Well, in the group training, it's um, I, I, everybody's on their own pace. So a lot of it will be like when we do a lot of strength strength work. Yeah. I'll tell them, okay, you know, bicep curls or whatever the exercises may be. Yeah. And I give them the set amount, but everybody's on their own pace. Okay. So you know, if you start getting tired, they go get some water. Hey, if you need to step out, step out. I don't nice. give out the breaks. I don't tell them, hey guys. That's nice. Break. That's nice yeah. of you. I used to, you know what? I'm gonna give you a line that I used to use when coach. I even used this in golf when I, I coached varsity golf for a while at Stonebridge, and even in golf, I used this line. <laughs> It's, ah, I need some water. Winners don't need water, and losers don't deserve it. <laughs> Unless you can see, like, like oh, you're really like, yeah. you need to go get a drink. Like, yeah. you're getting, you're getting red. Like, <laughs> you know. Hey, but, but so you let everybody sort of set, set their own, set their own pace. But it's crazy because when we put a group together, and you know, like, I mean, a lot of my group training, like at night, you know, I do have pro boxers in there, former pro boxers, and yeah. former amateur fighters, and people that are in shape, and some people that aren't really in shape. But yeah. it's crazy because the energy real so everybody tries to keep up with each other I tell them take their uh, focus on yourself slow down watch your own pace slow yeah. down take it easy no heart no, attacks everybody <laughs> goes right at it because every, they see the, the, the energy is just yeah. you know intense it's, sort of, it's <laughs> like yeah it's one of those times when like people are naturally competitive like yeah, you don't have to tell them to do any of this it. you just start like yeah. you start seeing the guy like looking over <laughs> and then I look over and I see somebody running to the bathroom and I'm like ah <laughs> See, I, there we go. I'm like, and I gotta go check up, make sure they're good, and they're good. But it, you know, I think you learn a lot from yourself. You know, you push through those mental blocks. Yeah. So I mean, like in life, and anything, you know, things, yeah. there's obstacles and. And a lot of it stop is just yourself, you mentally. You yeah, know, that's just, one. Of, that's one of the nice things with like working in a group like that and doing mm -hmm. a team thing. Like, in God, it would have been like middle school, beginning of high school. Like I played football, and we had a big lifting program in my high school. And like I hurt my back freshman year, and I was done. Like oh, yeah. I learned to play golf, and I was like, oh. I have a chance to be really good at golf. I have a chance to be mediocre at football. So I sort of switched. But even in middle school, they would tell us to go to the high school weight room. So after school, all these guys, like, we would walk or jog. Sometimes they'd even run a bus for us to the high school when you go work. And I never thought about it then. But, like, being in that room with all those guys who all had sort of similar goals, and you find yourself working to your competition. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're working out by yourself – there's nothing to look at, you know, yeah. like there's nothing, you know, so, I mean, unless you have a trainer who can push you. Yeah, I mean, you discipline, you know? but I mean, but a little competition, you know, brings yeah. out a little more in you, you know, you yeah. can push yourself a little harder. There's, you see them doing one more push of the use, all right, and I'm going to do two more. I can do this. Yeah, yeah I yeah. can do it. And, and it's a nice way to keep yourself motivated without ever having to really like even try it. Like yeah. it, it almost like it does it for you, like having the group around you does it for you. But I don't know. I just, I, you know, I look at like some of the stuff you post and I think like, man, that's got to be tricky because of the different groups in the room. Yeah. But, yeah, I guess if you're not too much of a hard ass about it, then <laughs> I mean, they can sort of do it themselves. Well, yeah. Because, I mean, people do throw up a lot. I mean, I, mean, it, I, mean, it, I, I would sit here and live. I just say people don't throw up. Yeah. And uh, it's crazy because, you know, you know, I'm like, you all right? And, like, and they laugh about it. I'm yeah. Like, yeah, man, I haven't worked out this hard in I don't know how long. Yeah. And it's like, I just pushed you to that to that breaking point, you know, and then it's like you're that much stronger now. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I, I'm on them. I push them. I make sure it's like my intensity. Maybe just because of how intense I am in my personal life with boxing and, and everything I do. Right. Maybe to me it seems like I'm I'm laying off the gas a little bit, but to others it's like okay, hey man, slow down a little bit. See, you maybe know, that's maybe, yeah. <laughs> to me, maybe my perspective is a little different, but you know, because that's good though. I mean, I always think about that. Like, I think about that in teaching. I think about that, I mean, I haven't coached in a while, but, like, you ask people for the best you could possibly expect from them. And maybe even a little bit better than that. And then just be understanding when you get less. You know what I mean? Like, if I only ask you for what you can do, then that's all you're going to do, right? But if the goal is for you to do it better, I have to ask you to do it better, to do more, with the understanding that you're probably going to fail. Yeah. But if I just ask you to do what you already can do, you're going to do it. But what in the end, like, it looks like we did stuff. 
but how much progress do you make if I didn't ask you to do it better? better you know? for sure. And so, but that's where, you know, if you're, if you're used to working up here and these people are down here, then you, you have to know when to like lay off a, lay little, off bit. a little bit. And I don't know, you know, it, it took me a little bit to kind of find that. I was going to say, how do you learn media. that? Though? It took like, me a little bit, you know, I kind of read in body language <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and just understanding, like you start looking they start looking pale. Yeah. It's like okay, let me really slow down because <laughs> that's what you know, and it works. Di- this this was like it works differently with people like different skin tones. But I always know, you know, like for me, I'm I can turn bright red. I'm good. I can get a little pale. I'm good. When I get pale with some red spots going on, I need to sit down and drink water. Yeah, for sure. Like, <laughs> you know, like sit down it's like how do you how do you like take a reading? Of that? I mean, I know my first few years teaching that was. A thing, and I mean, I taught you. What would we just say? With my third, probably third year, third, fourth year. Yeah, I think you said third year. Yeah, it was, it was, it was probably third, second or third. Oh, yeah, because I started oh six, oh seven, oh seven. So yeah, it was probably something like that. Um, I think in certain ways, like I was probably asking too much at certain times. And I know, like the first time I got like an eleventh grade honors class, or I'm like American Lit. That's what I want to do. And I know I asked for too much now. Mm. You know, yeah. and the kids all complained, and I was just like, "Ah, you're soft. Your other teachers aren't you're trying." Okay. <laughs> and I still say that because reality is, I'm, I don't think the other teachers aren't trying. I just, I don't know that people judge well what you can ask someone else for. But I think I probably started too much, and then you sort of work your way back. Find but I also me. think that's easier though because if you think about it, if you start off being too hard on people, say in training, and you can sort of rein it back in that's probably a better place to be than to start off too soft. Too soft, Because yeah. if people walk out and don't feel like they got a great workout, they're not coming back, and it's a lot harder to start easy and then all of a sudden make it hard. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, if it's hard and it gets a little easier, people adjust down a lot easier than they adjust yeah. up. Like, you know, yeah. you can't show up and ask a guy to, you know, do an, a, a workout he's comfortable with and then realize that wasn't enough and a week later, you know, make it twice as hard. Like, that guy's sad. <laughs> he leaves, he's <laughs> sad either. when he leaves. I mean, like, trial and error. I mean, I think I, I had that. That was my... I mean, when I first started, I was pushing people so hard that it yeah. was like, dude, relax. Like, I would look back and I'm like, why did, why did I push them to that yeah. breaking point? But then it was like, you know, I got to... Remember, they're just, you know, whatever their goals are weren't the same as mine. You know, being a yeah. boxer, I had to push myself to the extreme, being in this condition. Right, right. You know? This so person was, just wants to wear a bathing suit Yeah, outside. they just like, want to lose a few pounds. <laughs> they just want to feel good about themselves. Yeah. Like, yo, take it easy a little yeah. bit. This is but not I, combative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I tell them it's more like a mental training. I try to tell them. It's like, I'm going to make you feel uncomfortable, but I want you to feel comfortable in that uncomfortable situation. Right, right. right. There's a... I forget, there's a there's a, a fun education word for this, and I don't remember what it is, but it's it's where things have to be harder than you can do on your own, but not so hard that you can't do it with a little bit of help from me. It's like you're, I'm going to use the word, and then it's probably the wrong word. It's like the zone of proximal development or something, but it's like, if I just ask you to do what you can already do, we're not doing anything. Yeah. And if I ask you to do more than you can do, even with my help, you're going to end up feeling like a failure, and you're going to quit. And so there's this like in-between where I'm asking you for more than you can do, but it's not so much that I can't help you to do it still. And, you know, and I think like in a way, some of that you can teach someone that like as a trainer, as a teacher, like you can, I, but I don't, I don't think the best people learn it that way. I think like you just do it, you know, and that's, um, like, I feel like most of the best stuff I do as a teacher stuff I figured out. It's one of the reasons like I wanted you to come here and do this, like, is because honor. I just want you to know that. But, I tell you, that. <laughs> you know, but but I mean, like, I think back to you in class, though, you have a very good personality. You read people well. Mm-hmm. You know, there's still like stories that I will occasionally bust out in class about you or the class you were in. And the thing is, even when things weren't going well, you, in my experience, and I, I mean, we obviously don't hang out a lot, but keeping in touch a little bit, seeing you here and there. Like, you're a person who reads people well. You respond well. Like, you can make a joke in class. You could get up and walk across the room at the wrong time. And at no point am I ever, as a teacher, going to lose my mind about it because you respond very nicely to it. And I don't know if you can teach someone to, like, read a person like that, to just sort of naturally handle a social situation well like that, which is a thing that then makes you better at your job now. <laughs>